हरे कृष्णा कैन भगवद गीता विजडम हेल्प वन टू ओवरकम इंफीरियरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स आंसर येस लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द कॉज ऑफ इंफीरियरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड हाउ वी कैन डील विथ इट एस्पेशली विथ गीता विजडम सो फर्स्ट इंफीरियरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स इज द फीलिंग दैट वी आर अनवर्दी especially caused by comparing ourselves with others who may be more talented than us who may be more competent than us who may be uh, wealthier than us who may be who may be more attractive than us in any any or many ways so in such a situation the basic problem is that we are identifying ourselves or we are inordinately investing our identity in some particular capacity or feature of ourselves which we feel we are lacking in so the first insight that the gita offers us is that we are not defined by our abilities or by our inabilities we are at our core spiritual beings and every one of us has intrinsic worth irreducible intrinsic worth that comes from who we are not what we have or what we can do everyone is a spark of the divine and this understanding that our core self worth does not depend on our externals helps us ground ourselves in security and frees us from that existential insecurity that my existence itself does not matter and then beyond that if we consider insecurity it could be at a basic existential level and it could be at a circumstantial level so when there is existential insecurity where one thinks that because i don't have this ability or i don't have that position my very existence is worthless that can be extremely damaging that can lead a person to chronic depression even suicidal urges and even self destruction so our existence matters our endeavors matter because we matter at our core with that ground level of security then we can look at the circumstantial causes of insecurity that while each of us may lack in certain things each of us may also have certain things more than others in society generally certain attributes get glamorized and when those attributes are glamorized we all start comparing ourselves in terms of those attributes so in a society if a student if a person's looks are what are glamorized if a person's if a student's marks are what are glamorized if a person's wages or a person's earnings are what are glamorized then a person equates them their whole self with their looks or their marks or their bank balance and then that can lead to insecurity but if we understand these are all features of me and we all have certain features more certain features less so we can be more objective and we look at not just what the world glamorizes but we look at what we have and what we can offer in a mood of service and broadly speaking our relationship with ourselves or our vision of ourselves it can go to two extremes one is ego where we think that i am everything and i can do everything and the opposite of that is not humility but insecurity inferiority that i am nothing and i can do nothing in between is humility where we understand that i am someone and i can do some things so we are all parts of the divine and we are all capable of doing some things we all have certain abilities and if we use those abilities if we use those resources we all can 
make a contribution. We all can make a difference. So uh, when we, the Gita says that through every work, we can make a contribution and we can attain contentment thereby. Every work is sacred. Every worker is sacred. Every individual has been given some gifts. So rather than letting, our, letting ourselves be compared by society's glamorized parameters, we can start from ourselves, not from the world. And just objectively observe ourselves. The Gita says that becoming an inner observer is very helpful. We have to elevate ourselves with ourselves, not degrade ourselves with ourselves. That's 6.5 in the Gita. So we observe ourselves as if we observe, we would observe a person, a friend, a relative, whom we care for. And then observe what strengths we have, what abilities we have, what gifts we have, and use them. Ultimately, our happiness depends not so much, not on what we have, but on what we do with what we have. So even if we have finite, limited qualities or abilities, if you are using them to make, uh, to make a contribution in the mood of service, using them constructively, then that will give us positivity, that will give us purpose, that will give us fulfillment. And we will stop feeling sorry for ourselves. Especially in today's world, inferiority and security are especially aggravated because we don't live in self-sufficient small communities. We live in an interconnected global village. So here we are brought in competition with the whole world. A person may have some good looks, but today they compare themselves with people with good looks from all over the world. And not only that, they compare with physically and doc digitally doctored images of people. They always feel themselves unworthy. So when society and culture have expanded our frame of comparison, we are naturally much more vulnerable to feelings of insecurity. And that is why it is important that we no longer let society and culture determine our frame of vision, our frame of comparison. We focus, uh, take a more inside out approach and focus more on making a contribution according to our gifts. And as we look inwards, we see that everything that we have is ultimately an opportunity for us to move towards the divine, to act in the mood of service to the divine. We'll find that we have the gifts by which we can make a contribution and we can find contentment. Thank you. Hare Krishna.